Here are the video solutions for AQA Functional Skills Maths Level 1. This is paper 1 which is the non-calculator paper and this is January 2022. So question number 1 in section A, circle the negative integer. Uh, well we can spot straight away that it can't be 8 or 0 0.6 because they're both positive but we only, um, it does say the negative integer singular not plural so we can only circle one of these so it's all about understanding what an integer is and an integer is a whole number so in other words not a decimal so it's not the minus 1.4 it's minus 23. Work out uh, 97,004 divided by 1000 okay so I know some people would definitely struggle with this question the key thing really for me is to write it well if you are struggling the key thing is to write it as 97004. Zero. When you're dividing or when you're multiplying by 10, um, 100, 1000, we can move the decimal point. So if we actually create a decimal, then we've got a decimal point that's um, easy to move. Now, we need to move the decimal point three places. Um, now, we are going to be moving it three places to the left because if we're dividing by 1000, we're making this number smaller. So one, two, three, it will sit between the seven and the zero. So the number or the answer will be 97.004, that zero at the end. If I put it there, it's not wrong, but it just doesn't need to be there anymore. Question number three, five squared plus three squared. Well, we need to remember, first of all, that five squared is five multiplied by five, which is 25. And we also need to remember that three squared is three multiplied by three, which is nine. So the question is now, what is 25 plus nine? Or 25 plus 10 is 35, go back one, 34. Question number four, write two and four fifths in digits. Um, this is relatively straightforward, I think. Um, we know how to write two, hopefully. Four fifths is four over five, so two and four fifths is two and four over five, like that. Okay, question number five, work out the volume of the cuboid. Um, so to work out the volume, we're just multiplying these three dimensions together, so that's 10 times by two times by eight. I'd probably keep the multiplying by 10, hold that back till the end. We can multiply in any order, it doesn't make any difference. So we've got two times eight, which is 16. 16 times 10 is 160. So the answer is 160. Uh, what is, it does say state the units, or well, centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So remember for a length, it's centimeters, for an area, centimeters squared, but for a volume, it's centimeters cubed. Okay, on to section B, question number six about jewellery. So we know that the ratio of white beads to blue beads is one to three. Now, if Libby is using six white beads, we've boosted this ratio by six. So if we've got six times more white, we need six times as many blues. So therefore, we need 18 blues. So the ratio of one to three is the same as a ratio of six to 18. We've just scaled up the ratio. So if we need 18 blue beads, but she's got 10 already, then she's going to need an additional eight beads to complete the bracelet. So the final answer there is eight. Okay, 6B. Um, okay, so the first thing to do is turn the meters into centimeters. I think two, two meters is 200 centimeters. Um, she's using a quarter of the chain to make a necklace. So what is one quarter of 200? Well, a quarter of 200, that is 200 divided by four, which is 50 centimeters. So 50 centimeters are used up for this necklace. So what she got left, well, that's 200 centimeters minus 50 centimeters, which is 150 centimeters. So what we need to do now is just work out, well, how many 20 centimeters go into 150? What is 150 centimeters divided by 20 centimeters? I would probably turn that into, well, what is 15 divided by two? and 15 divided by two is exactly 7.5. So she can make 7.5 bracelets. So how many bracelets can she make? Well, she can't make that eighth brace bracelet, so therefore the answer is simply seven. We're gonna to have to round down in this case. So um, this is probably the hardest question of this paper in my opinion. So we know that this symbol here represents four items. So four, eight, 12, so 16 necklaces, four, eight, so if this is four, then each individual rectangle represents one item. So four, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now, so far, what have we got? We've got 16 plus 11, and 16 plus 11 is 27. And we know that in total there was 45, and 45 
take away 27 is 18. So the bracelet and the ring must add up to 18. Now we know that the ratio of bracelets to rings is, um, so she sold twice as many bracelets as rings. So it's a ratio bracelets to rings is two to one. So what that means is two thirds is bracelets and one third is rings. So what is one third of 18? Well, one third of 18, that is 18 divided by three, which is six. So rings is six. So if one third is six, then two thirds is 12. And you might just wanna double check, do these numbers add up to 45? Uh, well, the answer is yes, they do. And we can clearly see we've got twice as many bracelets as rings. So I know I just need to um, fill in the pictogram. So um, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Perfect, that was nice and easy. Uh, and six is gonna be a four and two. So half of one of these and it probably doesn't matter whether you do the two as vertical or horizontal. Um, but there we go, there is the completed pictogram. And that is the end of this assessment.